Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with how I cook my perfectly pink hamburgers. Do not let the photo fool you. I don't think I had the best lighting and or photography skills. So some of you are going to look at it and say, oh my God, that's rare. How could you eat it like that? And some of you are going to look at it and say, what do you mean? That's medium well. But trust me, for temperature, for texture, it was a perfect, perfect medium. All right, so here's my method. And I'm going to use a standard 8 ounce, which is a nice big size, hamburger. It's about three quarters of an inch thick, maybe close to an inch. I don't measure. I salt and pepper both sides generously. I grease a skillet of any sort. Here I'm using my nonstick. I also do this in cast iron usually. I preheat the pan on medium high and when I think it's hot, and if you're not sure you can just touch the burger to the pan and it will sizzle a little bit, or if it doesn't sizzle it's not hot. And then I turn it down and I cook the entire rest of the way on medium. What I'm looking for is the heat to come up the side. See, you can kind of see how it's cooking. And at first, not much is gonna happen. Two or three minutes later, you're gonna notice that heat sort of creeping up the side, that, that raw burger is gonna start turning opaque and then white. And this is gonna take about five to six minutes. So right there, it's about halfway up or so. I need it to go a little past halfway. So see that? That's just about perfect. That not raw looking burger is kind of creeping up just past halfway. Not quite two thirds. I don't want to get too technical here anyway. It's not rocket surgery. And again, we're not going so much on time as look, okay? So at that point, I'm going to flip. Now the second side, we can't quite do as long. So however many minutes it took you to cook the first side, I'm going to subtract about a minute or two for the second side. So my first side took about five minutes. This side's going to take about four. And you can feel that it's still raw. All right, see how when I push on it, it just kind of pushes down with very little resistance? It feels raw. Two minutes later, three minutes later, it was a little firmer to the touch. It basically sprung back, and liquid wanted to pop out of the top. That's another sign. By the way, you can do that test with tongs. You probably shouldn't use your finger, because you'll burn yourself. And then you'll blame me. And it will only partially be my fault. And that's it. I'm going to take those out of the pan. I'm going to let them rest at least five minutes. You're crazy if you don't let your meat rest. Get your bun ready, however you're going to dress it, then dig in. So there's no exact methods, but this does get you close. All right, if you want to cook all the way through, bless your heart. But for me, it's not the best way to eat a burger. Rare is not the best way either. I don't know why people eat rare burgers. You should just eat hamburger and save yourself the trouble. By the way, I would really love to show you the rest of this burger, but I can't until July 27th. So stay tuned for that. It really is a special burger. You're gonna be blown away. So I hope that helps. Check out foodwishes.com for more information. And as always, enjoy.